What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Pit Stop. I'm your leading crew chief, Kyle Pitts. It's a great catch. He pulls it in. And here on the show, we'll have a great time. We'll see, can our guests drive? We'll have fellowship, games. So let's put them to the test. Let's race. Oh, I think you're in there. How fast is fast? Really fast. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Pit Stop, and I'm your lead crew chief here, Kyle Pitts. And today, we have two special guests, Atlanta's own Two Chains and Mr. Halo. What up, what up? How y'all doing? Chains, a five-time Grammy-nominated award winner and top of the Billboard charts entrepreneur and actor. And then Halo, you know, upcoming basketball star and co-host of me and Halo. Sounds like me. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming on the show today. As we get started, Chains as a music mogul, how would you define Atlanta from somebody like me who is from Philadelphia and you're an Atlanta native, and how would you define it? I, I, would, I would define it and describe it as we have a lot of people like you that just came down here and never went back home. <laughs> nah, I mean, this is just, you know, I, I, I would think of a one in a million place as far as Atlanta. It's a, it's a place of, you know, we hear the word, you know, culture thrown around, around a lot. We hear family oriented. We hear entrepreneurship thrown around. And it's just a place where people that look, you know, talk, act, dress like us are able to have, you know, skin in the game to have. You know, whether it's land or business or just different strategies just in order to just strive and to, you know, just be great. And so I've always been in Atlanta, in the city of Atlanta. I've always been nurtured around with the people around me and my community. And it just, it never stops, man, you know. Atlanta's just a great southern city. It's full of flavor. You know, full of flavor. Full of flavor. Definitely, that's southern flavor. And then Halo. Well, having two chains as a dad, I know that's one of a kind. Growing up as his son, kind of in the music industry, and seeing, seeing Pop perform, how, how fun is that? Fun, fun. Like, wherever we go, it's like, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? <laughs> can, I, can I get an autograph? Can, can I, and it's a lot. Well, you, you signed, you've signed you been signing autographs, too, now, so. I just you told famous. you, I said, you're going to have to work on your... Um, your autograph signature, because they, they they'll come and get one from me, and they'll be like, "Halo, would, would you sign this? Would you sign this too? How, you, how does that make you feel signing autographs at eight years old? <laughs> you ready for this? You ready for this lifestyle? It's too much. You it's can't starting have at it. a young age now. No, I like it. Yeah, I like it. You like it? Okay. Because you know we know you're a basketball star, so you're gonna have to get used to it. So you're gonna, you know, they start in the nil now, like. What is it, fresh eighth grade sometimes? Eighth grade, ninth mm-hmm. grade. If they start in eighth grade, we're gonna be we're gonna be good. We're right. gonna be good. We got Halo's in the third right now. We going we not gonna stop the work. He enjoys the work. And if he enjoys it, we're gonna keep doing it. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. Yeah. Is basketball, would you say your favorite sport or you, you wanna tap into some other sports too? I mean, I like basketball and I like football and I like basketball. It's really back and forth. Back and forth. So Halo. You know, being young, going to shows, when did you kind of realize my dad is two chains and he really is like a worldwide mogul? I was actually at a Hawks game. So, he always takes me to Hawks game. He's been doing this since I was like two, right? <laughs> and people, like, people walk up to him and be like, oh, can I get a picture? Can I get an autograph? And... No, knowing that I'm at a young age, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> why are they asking what me this? What, what is what is all this? What, is, what, is, what, is, what are these people? <laughs> <laughs> then I realized, two chain, Teddy boy. I'm like, so. <laughs> Who's this person? <laughs> this is my dad. Right. Mm-hmm. I know that was awesome. Yeah. I know that's awesome. Then I got older. 
and then, yeah, just figured out. And then He's like, wow. I thought his name was Two Chain. And you actually call me Two Chain sometime, which is it's it's, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, fatherhood. I'm I'm very new in this. I have t- a ten month old, so oh, yeah. I'm fresh in the fatherhood circle. And uh, what would you say has like shaped you from being a dad from your first child to your last child? Well, you, they don't give you a manual. They don't. There's no <laughs> right. I mean, it's it is a right way, right? Um, but I can tell you now, like from ten months from Halo, I never, I never did the Google Gaga thing with him. I, I always <laughs> spoke to him like, like you know, like a friend, like a mature person, and you know, obviously. I don't know if he can understand it, some of the things I used to say to him or not, <laughs> but eventually it, it caught up and we have real true conversations. And just, you know, from, from each kid, I have a 16 year old, I have a soon to be 12 year old, and a Halo will be nine in a, in a couple of months. And I think it's all about, uh, I give him a flexibility to be creative. You know, I don't, I don't mind him, you know, messing up the, floor or the walls I just have to or the ceiling he's messed up my ceiling shooting turning my living room into a (laughs) a gym but I just like man I let him do all that because I feel like we can paint the walls we can redo the carpet and all that stuff so I'm not probably a normal parent that's like you know get out from there or do that I kind of let him yeah let him fall up fall down a couple times yeah I have to (laughs) (laughs) I think it's important that I kind of tap in with him you know whether I'm here or not just to have that conversation and just give them time if they do want to express something to me that I'm always an ear for them okay how do you kind of balance like that you know your work your work life and you know still come home and balance mm-hmm. you know being a great dad yeah originally originally it was it was it was kind of hard because it had never happened before so it would be you know it would be these little bickering moments between you know maybe my wife and I but you know soon after it just grew to become a part of you know the livelihood of me this is my job you know right. I'm not like on vacation when I'm going to these places I'm actually yeah. bringing home you know food, money, resources, and things like that. So once people really, because what we do is call entertainment, mm-hmm. right? You play sports, I do music. It's under the entertainment umbrella. But people really don't understand the stuff that they don't see on TV. Right. You know what I'm saying? The sleepless nights, the arguments, the bickering, the um, the working out, the, 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 the food, just the dedication to being consistent in who we are. So. Right. Um, you know, hopefully the loved ones that we have in our life, which mine has accepted, they can see the preparation and know that it means so much to us right. that, that we're able to go to these different places and excel and, and you know, be the best versions of, of ourselves. Yeah. And Halo, you know, kind of with us, you know, still being on the topic of father, how would you say you and Pop's bond is, you know, the more older you get, the more funnier conversations you get to unlock slowly but surely, they only get better. I'm so, so curious. I'll be asking him so many questions. Sometimes he tells me, sometimes he says, you got to wait till you get older. It's a lot. <laughs> I tell you what, you got to wait till you get older. <laughs> I don't, I told you I work on that. So, so some of that stuff my dad used to tell me, like, and it's true. Some of you, what it is, a though, is you are a very mature eight year old. Very, 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 very mature to be eight years old. You really just started playing video games. It's probably my fault for buying you one last Christmas. <laughs> but you, even the, even coming up with the party, you're just not a regular kid. So we, we be talking about everything, bro. You know, like we don't sit up and watch cartoons. We haven't done that, I don't think ever. We be sitting up watching like movie, real stuff, like ESPN, <laughs> basketball games. So I don't know, we just, this is like, this is one of the best things that could ever happen to me, for real. Yeah. It happened for me. Yeah. Hello, just coming into my life, man, being an extension of my father who passed away, you know, in 2012. And then Halo come through here in 2015 and just say it a day. Right. You guys have uh, came up with me and Halo. How, how did that come apart? And, you know, how's that been going? It's been going, you know, very well. We're getting gas. People are starting to see the vision. We are the first ever father and son podcast in the space 
It was about filling in a void. It was about showing the relationship between father and son. It was about showing, um, you know, the maturity level of Halo. My other kids, and even Halo, they would go on YouTube and they would watch other families, like, play and do different things. And mm -hmm. I just couldn't understand why they would just, you know, it changed from when we were coming up, we would watch animation. They would, like, literally watch a whole other family doing stuff. And I would be like, yo, <laughs> we are a cool family, too. You know what I'm saying? Right. So let me come up with something where people can kind of watch how we do, what we do, and, you know what I'm saying, how we operate. And so I came up with the Me and Halo um, podcast. What has it been like two years, Halo? You think you started? How were you when you started? Seven. Seven. Um, I don't get this steady. I don't look up other families. <laughs> you know what? I don't look up other families. You don't look at what other? You don't, I don't look, look at other, at other families. You don't, on, on you on on you never you never. <laughs> let me tell you this: when you had your little green iPad. iPad you didn't log on on there and like look at other families playing around and doing stuff in the house? No, because I'm not weird. <laughs> you don't have to be weird to do that. I've seen, all right. I've seen this happen You're in my household. You're going to stick to it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you must be talking about heaven and harmony because me? I've seen somebody. I've re See, y'all be so quiet with them headphones on and airport. Y'all don't hear nothing. So I'm sneaking around. I'm like, why are you so quiet? Now look over there. And I've seen you looking at females. Mm. <laughs> I want to hear this. Come on. Hear this. Sports. Okay, sports is one thing I do look at. I'm seeing various different TikToks, but I have seen you guys go to these YouTube channels and just watch a family be okay. a family. Okay. You know, yeah. and I don't, I don't think Same nothing's wrong with that, but I think I got a pretty cool family too. So we came up with me and Halo, and we we doing good for ourselves, right, Halo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with you on the stuff you said, man. <laughs> okay, so now this is to test the ultimate father son connection and bond. This part of the show, we're gonna do a father son quiz. Okay, okay bet. To see how well you know each other. Yeah, let's let's see the, the father son telepathy. All right. Okay, so the first one. What is Halo? This is this is for you. you I feel like you'll know this one. What is your dad's favorite uh, food spot in Atlanta? I don't know how to spell it. Okay, you can just say it. Which is, which, uh, I'll write it and then you say it. Hold on, my yeah. favorite. Yeah, spot. let him write it and then I'll one, two, three, and then if you just say it. Sound it out. Try it, boy. You tell me about you don't know how to spell it. Do like a kill in the Pay all that time. doggone money to go to private school, but <laughs> I, I, I enunciate. All right. All right. All right. right. What you say, Halo? There we go. Candyland. Candyland. Yeah, there we go. I got Candyland. Candyland on there, too. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Pops. Yeah. What is Halo's favorite subject in school? <laughs> <laughs> this is not even a subject, bro, but this is just all he talks <laughs> about right here. P.E. Re yeah, that's about the same. <laughs> <Re -sense. laughs> Halo, this is for you. <laughs> what is one of your dad's favorite activities to do? Besides performing in front of millions of people. Okay, okay. Yeah, rap. and I had rap, and then you said besides perform a bunch of people, so then I put hoop, and he okay. got to play ball. So That's right, but that's 100%. Man. That's 100%. Last one. Last one, kill. Last one. Hey, look, cause you know y'all on fire right now. Y'all haven't, y'all haven't missed one yet. Okay, who's the better hooper? Mm. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to save that one for last. Who's the better? That's hooper? hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Now you need to work on your autograph, man. See what says. See how that. Ooh. <laughs> you t you got to work on it. You making it look too pretty and everything. You got yeah, there you go. It's really just a scribble scribble. Yeah, you got to put that bang. Let me look, but look Wait, like, like this. You got to bait it. <laughs> <laughs> See, it look, as long as, as long as you, like you know, when you start it, you got to you got to keep with it. Yeah, you, you, um, let me show you. Let me show you how I do my killer. I come with a two, and I put a seed in the air. You know what I'm saying? Eight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's some people's signature. All right, man. So you never know. Yeah, that's cool. But that's a two. 
You gotta make it look like a H, a halo. That looks like like a, this. Put something in there where somebody can at least see a H or something. Like this. <laughs> You're gonna have to master. I mean, that's eventually how you get better at it. The more you write it, the more people keep asking you about it. No, it's an H at the beginning. Okay. I don't see an H. Okay. A, you only have four letters in your name. Okay. It should be some type. It should be legible to someone in the world. Okay. You have four. I look. I looked out for you when I named you. So I, I didn't. Even, I looked out for you so good. It's like he's gonna be able to spell his name. That's not bad. I looked out for you, man. I'm, like, I'm not gonna give you seven, eight letters. I'm gonna go with four. Be able to knock that out. All right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Back, I'm gonna take you for a ride in my number 51. How do you differentiate when you drive normally? <laughs> oh man, when I'm zero G guy on everyday driving. I drive so gentle, uh -huh. cruise. Slide correction and continue. Our eyes are just looking right around there. We're looking around there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to do that one. Took a minute to get his head straight and then just nailed it. I love it. A question for you. Okay. How do you how do you like how do you like Kirk I don't know how to Kirk say it. Kirk, Kirk, Kirk Cousins being your new cue. I mean, it's amazing. It's it's like you go, you start. I start off with Matt Ryan, so I seen like the the true definition of a professional, and you know how he comes into work every day. Mm -hmm. He he's about his business. Um, he's a professional on and off the field. You know, in his preparation, uh, in the game, just how he how much knowledge he knows about the game, and you know I've also had Marcus Mariota and Desmond, but uh, I would say Kirk gives me like a really good emulation of Matt as well. I know how this goes. I know you got a lot of people to look out. But me and Halo, we need to. Oh, no, we, we, uh, we Mr. take care of you. This, let me do this right now. OK, 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 let's hear it. <laughs> Mr. Blank, my name is Two Chains. Mm-hmm. 
This is my son, Halo. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have met you a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure if you remember me or not. Yep. Mm-hmm. He don't. It's <laughs> all good. But we would like to be a part of the Falcons. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to cheer for a team that's a thousand miles away when I'm from here. I bleed the same black, red, and white like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I want to be a part of it. Halo, you want to be a part of it? We want to go to the games. You want to go to the games? Yeah, I want to go to the games. We want to go to the games. We want to be a part of that. We want to be a part of that. We want to be accepted. We want to be acknowledged. Ain't that right, dog? Yes, sir. Three times. We just got somebody on defense, right? Was he a corner? Oh, Justin Simmons. Dog. Dog. Yeah, dog. You know, he's back there with Jesse. That's like playing safety is the hardest, one of the hardest positions on defense. So for them to be, you know, two elite safeties, we got mm. them on our team now. Mm. Mm. I think we're gonna I can't some, wait to see y'all. We got to get this stuff together. Uh, Mr. Blank, two chains. <laughs> Pleasure meeting you again, there, brother. <laughs> Reach out there, give me a holler there, brother. <laughs> give me a holler right there, man. Hey, 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 we be up there, brother. We're gonna, right. we gonna have, we're gonna get that lined up for sure. You, you, you know who? You, you can tell me your favorite player. Justin Jefferson. Oh yeah, he cold. We got we got to guard him this year. We go to Minnesota. Yeah, that'll be a pretty. He, interesting he game. likes Justin Jefferson. He gonna run a slant. <laughs> he gonna he run a slant. Probably will. This <laughs> is every play. He's just going. And he's he's extremely oh, talented. Hello, you're funny. Bro. He's gonna take one. <laughs> he's gonna run. He ain't running straight. You ain't running nothing. You just. Man, you're funny, bro. Sometimes yeah. you know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if, yeah. if that's what's working. That's what made him all pro, one of the, I would say, top five receivers. Name your, name your all-time, name your five all-time players that Ooh. ever played. Uh, players? Hey, that's, well, that's, that's hard. Easier. That's easier. Than, oh, that's than, easier. Okay. That's easier. And you have to line them up. One, position. two, three, four, okay. and five. My number one definitely probably got to go with B. I mean, mm -hmm. he was a human highlight reel. Uh, LT. LaDainian Thomas, and when I had running back aspirations before I got too tall. <laughs> um, you used to play the running back? Though? I did. Mm -hmm. I used to play running back until I got too tall. And uh, oh, it was, okay, let's I, see. was I was done. Uh, who else? Mm. Randy Moss. Ran Randy's definitely in it. <laughs> Randy definitely hey, look, You can't there. give him answers, bro. This <laughs> no, is. Randy's up there. I won't, I won't take that one, though. I would say, like, Chris Carter and, like, Terrell Owens. Oh, man. Like, those Terrell. type of receivers. Ooh, that was, even though they played, you know, look, was, really, for yeah. those teams, Yeah. Chris Carter was a dog. Yeah, he, um, his standing bounds was – I mean, his toes would be in bounds. His, body his upper is, torso would be by the Gatorade joint. And I uh, definitely – Chad Ochocinco for sure, in terms of his feet. You know, watching watching him, watching his feet is, that's hey, well, These are opinions, bro. You can't <laughs> get mad at somebody's opinion, though. You can't get mad at somebody else's <laughs> opinion, bro. This is his opinion. You ask him his opinion, you can't do that. <laughs> now, you have Randy Moss on your list because- Oh no, we're gonna, we gonna swing it back to his top five. Yeah, you for like, sure. Yeah, okay, they wanna know your, yeah, okay. And then I would say my fifth is probably like Ray Lewis, cause he was really, oh no, no, no let me take it back. Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins. That was a dog. That was when the Eagles was in that, that Reebok green with the black pants. What's, what's, what's wrong, bro? Well, now, now we got to spin it back to you, Halo. What's your top five? Let me hear your top five. Who top five football players? Football players. Like, ever played? Yeah, ever played. I know yeah. Randy's in there. I know no, Randy's no, in there. No, no, no specific order. Just, boy, you're so funny. Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Randy Moss. Well, I receive. There's two more. Yeah. Two more. Mm. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. Okay. Man, what if you could be all of that in one? You'd be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> what else? One more killer. Let me see. What about somebody like Sauce Gardner or somebody like that? Oh, wait. Take it back. Justin Jefferson. Jamar Chase. Randy Moss. Sauce? No. Jalen Ramsey. Mm -hmm. Number four. Dog. And my last one. 
Because if you're going to play CB, you got to put one in there. Yeah. That's right. I mean, it'd be very offense heavy. It's I a like QB. It. My last one going to be a QB. My last QB is going to be Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Man, that ain't bad, Halo. That, that's, that's, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. You can build a little team around that. What you got? That's pretty good. That's that's some, some playmakers. Okay. My turn. Good. My top five players would be, would be, my top five players would be, Oh uh, man, this is a good one. Let me see. Let me let me go on and get you right. Let me go on and get you right. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Jerry Rice. He was, mm. you, you know, I gotta put that on there. Jerry Rice because he can catch everything. I got the I got to put Dion on there. This mm. he just man, his whole yeah, he's arguably. Yeah, prime time. Um that's yeah. two. Three, I'm gonna say Ray Lewis since you didn't. Okay. That boy come out doing all that. <laughs> That's three. All right, so I got a. Okay. I got a, now. Now I need. I got. Now I need somebody. Uh, let me see who else. What about? Uh, gonna mess y'all up with this next one. I feel like you're gonna take it back. I thought about it. I thought about going too far back though. <laughs> I don't want nobody to Google. <laughs> Let me see, Halo. Let me go with uh, who's someone that just Cam? Man, huh? Cam? Man, why? Should, why not say Cam? I look, man. That's my dog, Cam. Yeah, Cam, Cam my steps. Cam my six. Cam like that. We gotta look out for Cam for sure. Cam. Boy, ran the ball, flipped over somebody. We're still running the ball yeah, and yeah. flip over another Cam person's machine. Clutches. But yeah, it's, it's too many really good athletic players from from past and present that, that could make a top five list, yeah. honestly. And Gronk. Mm. Yeah. Tight end. Good one. Who so he who? played the same position Gronk played. I'm just not as wide. They both <laughs> tight ends. They both block. Sometimes they fake block. Hey, all right. Yeah. <laughs> a little, little sudden move. A little sudden move. You ever pancake somebody? I have, I have. That's, that's a pretty good feeling, you know, because it's hard when these people are just about 100 pounds, they weigh about 100 pounds more than you. Mm. And physics, you know, 100 pounds versus 50 pounds, who you think is going to, supposed to win? Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be 100, but you know you got that dog in you. You got that dog in you. If you weigh like lower than the other person, but you're, like if you're like stronger than the other person, but the other person weighs more than you, mm -hmm. and the other person's like weak. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> in this league is weak. Nobody, huh, bro? Everybody. You can't get pumping. to the yeah. Everybody, you can't get to this. You can't get this far and not have. Mm -mm. They make you do two twenty five in the combat. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how many times did you do it? Let me guess, fourteen. Uh, twenty two. You did twenty two times. Fourteen is crazy. <laughs> 14, that ain't nothing? That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. 14. You just did it seven more times than four. Well, that's, that's. You, you got to think. Arms getting tired around 10. Mm -hmm. So the rest just the, mental. It, it's the rest just like, it's, it's, you know, what you're working on, just the muscle endurance, really. And uh, most people, you know, you aren't the only one who probably thinks, you know, the leaner ones can't push the weight. But I'm probably, I'm probably pound for pound strongest in my room. No, no, pound no. Don't, don't, I hope you ain't looking at this like it's, you know, <laughs> like it's crazy. I mean, you know, I can't do no 22 of them. I can get in there. Okay. Yeah, I can get in there. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey kill him. Kill him. <laughs> we get in there now. <laughs> yeah. You started, have you started lifting weights yet? Of course. Oh. Uh, well, push-ups, pull-ups. Body weight. I, yeah, I let them get the the little bar on the on the um cur the little curl bar, and he okay. was doing like some I don't know maybe some close grips with it and stuff like that. But he he actually likes to work out. I think the sooner I can get him doing the pull-ups with his length, the mm. better. Because I started doing them late and yeah. it, it helped me. But like if I can get him on the pull-ups, he can do push-ups and all that. But if I can get him on the pull-ups now. We're doing chin ups, but you know the pull ups a whole different yeah, beast. That lat, yeah, that lat muscle. So if I can get him to get them wings and all that, which I'm gonna develop, he gonna be he gonna he gonna be good anyway. But that and some little squats, get these little legs strong. <laughs> Need you a base. Mm -hmm. Gotta gotta have you a 
yeah. a solid truck. He does these well, wall sits for like two minutes sometimes, so we'll keep that up. <laughs> was that as discipline or was that as physical? Like Halo physical? doesn't really get into trouble. I'm not bad. Yeah, he don't yeah. do nothing to get in trouble, bro. You're the youngest and you just get away with it. Yeah, that part, too. But he don't really do nothing <laughs> to get in trouble. So it may seem like punishment, but that's really what that's really what's going on. That's the preparation. And then more into, like, the entrepreneur stuff you've been doing. In 2019, you joined the ownership group for the Childish Park Skyhawks. Like, which you have in that basketball background, what made you kind of be inspired to, you know, take it? take up that role. well yeah that that me having a basketball background and obviously like when I was a kid I never said I wanted to be a doctor or, or a fireman I always said I wanted to play basketball and we know that the chances of actually going to the league are very slim right one in I don't know a thousand but I just knew what I did not want to be you know right. and so with the college part Skyhouse I'm able to live vicariously through these cats that are going to the N NBA and getting an opportunity to play in the league it's on the south side of town, so I'm able to represent where I come from, where high school I graduated, and you know, the, the, it's my stomping grounds, you know, and it's just, it's important. And also it lets me know that nepotism is very real because if nothing else, Halo will be on my team when it's time. <laughs> Ain't that right, Kelly? So yeah, yeah he can say he going to the league. Like, every day he can, he can literally say it and feel just as confident and comfortable as Bronny would saying it, because hey, man. I mean, you got, you got Shador. Yeah. But, but they, you know, they still perform even though you do have an extra little help. Yeah, help yeah, but Shador, door. they like that though. Yeah. So it's important that you still be like that though. You oh, they, they definitely like are dogs. The whole family yeah. is saying this. For you sure. still got suck. Huh? If you suck and you think you're gonna go to the league, there ain't no good chance that you is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, but you're just gonna be benched the whole time. So. Do, you think, do you think you suck? No. You fine? I whooped you. Uh, bro, see, bro, you you be drinking too much Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> also, in philanthropy, the True Foundation you have. Mm -hmm. um, what is it, and like, how did you get that started? The True Foundation started about I don't know, maybe twelve or thirteen years ago with my wife, and with the unfortunate passing of her first cousin, who was um, killed through domestic violence. That was the original initiative. Okay. Obviously, we've helped single parent households. We've you know done back to school, we've done scholarships, we've um, done so many things to give back, but it's important for me to use my platform and my resources to help other people. And that's what the True Foundation is about. That's cool. Yeah, de definitely, um, you know, talking with Leaks and a couple other guys, definitely want to get involved with that. And I would love that, I have, bro. I have one as well, the Count Pitts Foundation, just kind of helping inner city kids with like uh, financial literacy mm, that's important learn how to be you know different etiquette in different areas like you know golf courses and business meetings knowing you know tuck your shirt and you come in on time mm -hmm. you look somebody in the eye you shake them you know shake their hand with a firm yeah, grip we talk about that yeah you know things of that such so just mm -hmm. you know definitely you know hopefully we can work something out and let's do it bro future. but uh, on to the most fun part of the show with this being called the pit stop we got to put you to the driving test we'll see how fast you go in each each uh in a lap and then we'll put your score up on the fastest time, and we'll be asking you rapid, rapid fire questions while you're driving. Bro, you go biz on them folk. First person. Oh, man. Okay, Florida. Florida. And you'll take time. So, what he's looking at to, to turn. All right, you see on your bottom left, that's your track on the bottom left screen. That's the track you got to go around the circle in a minute. There you go. Right, 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 right. That's, That's okay. So, hey, look, you got to look at the bottom. You see the bottom left corner on the screen? Oh, yeah. That's where the track is. That's where your track is, so you got to know you know the curve is coming. There you go. Hit it. You straight ahead. Now, hit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for your rapid fire questions, hey, look, flats or drums? What? Flat, chicken wings. <laughs> Drum. I know what he like. The, the straight one. Um, you like flats or drums, Halo? Um, uh, drums. Drums, yeah, I know you like drums. Yeah, he like drums. Okay. He like drums. That's the first. All right, so hold hold the brake. Use one foot. That left foot, move that left foot out the way. Use your, your you use your right foot for your brakes. There you go. Right, right foot for straight. gas and brakes. All right, straight ahead, kill Hit it. Yeah, hit it, kill Straight ahead. <laughs> 
What's a secret talent that we don't know about you, Halo? Halo. Um, that I can head top everyone. <laughs> you can head top everyone. <laughs> okay. You about to come around the corner. You got to pay attention to that left screen. You got to pay attention. You done broke the glass and everything. <laughs> there you go. You're back right. You see on the bottom left side, you see your arm um, track? No. You don't? Look down to the bottom left. You see it? That's what you got to follow. In the left corner. You see like the little triangle. You, you see triangle. around the curve? That's you. That's you in the corner. Use your right foot only. There you go, right out. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite, uh, your, your favorite touchdown celebration? The gritty. The gritty. I could add, you gotta let me answer these. <laughs> you got a curve coming up to your, you gotta pay attention to your curve. Gotta bend that corner. There you go. Bend that corner, champ. Yo, see, can you grit it like that? Okay. You got a curve coming to your uh, left. You get into the finish line. You get. I think you're going to beat some of our other guests' time. They too much. You're going to beat somebody. Hey, you're going to beat them. Ride out. Hey, long ride. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Straight ahead. Hit it. Kill him. Hit it. Ride out. Kill him. Three, three minutes. That is that is pretty impressive. You'd be surprised. We had somebody else do five. Man, that's all right. Well, to conclude today's episode, thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. to be a guest on me and Halo.